Hey guys, once again, it's the Sound Couple, Stacy and I'm Bart. And we're heading off to a wedding and we're starting off here in our garage because we're driving separate. And yay, because it's super close and we have a four hour gap. Well, right? yeah, so you're, it's never a yay that we're taking two vehicles because mm -hmm. money is time, time is money. But we are figuring out everything. Like she said, it's actually a four and a half hour Ooh, gap in time. Wow. She's not going to be there because we just need to get other things done. And with that big gap, that kind of just shoots a big time in our day. But I think it'll be a good one, Stace. This is a venue we haven't been at mm -hmm. before. And we do have some questions and we'll, we'll touch <laughs> on that a little bit later. It's going to midnight, so we'll see how that goes. So that's a clue of what could potentially be an issue with a private venue with a gig that's going to midnight. We are here, and like Stacy mentioned, this was close to our house. I believe that's where we have to load into one of my sound buddies has a gig here coming up, and I think he mentioned it was one of those longer handicap accessible areas that we load in from. And I think we're in there. So we're gonna, we'll park here and see what the logistics are looking like. But that's what I'm thinking. And Stacy is right behind me somewhere. Hey, there she is. I think it's right there. I think we load in. I think we load in right there. But why don't you just go ahead and park. We'll go in and check it out. Hey, we came in over there. It's looking like we're right in here. Push, push, push. Okay, nice place. They said there was a power source over here too. Hey, I see a plug on the wall. Isn't that nice? It's a 50 amp. So far it's looking good. I think, I think we're going to be just fine. And that's where we came in. We've had worse. This isn't bad. Yeah. So there we are. There's our truck. We'll come in right there and over here and I think we're in. Pretty good size room. I think we can get by with... One and one? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what we're up against. Getting things in. Hi. Hi. Pardon me. We are working on getting things in the door because it's airs on them and we want to limit the amount of time we're leaving doors open.
exterior doors. Huh? I'm talking to oh. everyone. Oh, I'm not talking to you. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking to you, not her. <laughs> That happens a lot. Okay, it is 126. We're gonna have this up by four. I think we'll make it. Oh, there you are. Everybody, it is 145. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Well, okay, that I don't know, probably didn't catch much of that, but there was a contradiction in their, what their website said and what the band was told and what the wedding planner, we just got it all worked out. They are staying in open an hour later to accommodate the extra time that they wanted and the band to play and then the time we needed to tear, to tear down. So the plan is, it was, for their website, 11 o'clock, finished out by 12. Then it went, and then for our information, it was band playing to midnight. We need an hour and a half tear out. And now we just got her kind of just confirmed it's gonna be 11.30 band quits, and we'll be out by one, so that'll work. We're gonna get loaded. Okay, let's check in here, Stacy. it's 2.30. 236 and we are making great time don't you think yeah we are. I, yeah i have all the lights run minus the square docks we're breaking out the square docks for the first time in a while stacy's really thrilled about that <laughs> just doing a recheck to see if we still like them or not heard some comments from people that really do so maybe we just need to try them and see i mean i i don't the fixtures aren't bad i just I think it didn't really come out the way I was expecting, but they're nice, they're nice. Okay, we're running the lights, and this is our DMX that goes to our Entech ODE, ODE driver. That comes out. And then we have the Chave D5, and this is for our Freedom Sticks. Control, DMX control. So I'm going into those, and then out of here, DMX receiver for our lighting this is our Donner. And I got little Velcro and this is working out pretty well. Originally what I was trying to solve is that when I put the PSM 300 in here with the location of this, if I was plugging this in right here, there was interference with the PSM 300 and it was literally just a matter of moving it inches. So what I did is I put some Velcro here on the side. 
and it actually worked out okay. It's a little extra work. That's our lighting. I think we've talked about over the last some videos about some of the new devices. Now, I want to say, Stacy, I think we did a great job squeezing as much life <laughs> out of the devices we had. We had a 2011 MacBook Pro. My iPad Pro was probably five years old. We had some iPad 2s that we we're using. But in 2023, we just decided that it's time to upgrade, get some new stuff because things were working, but like the, the latest version of Luminaire that we have wouldn't support on some of those older devices. So we kind of just did a full refresh. We got our MacBook Pro here. This is a 2023. We just picked this up. This is an iPad Pro M2 and this is an iPad mini. So tonight what I'm gonna do is, since Stacy's not gonna be here, I'm gonna be flip flop flopping back and forth between Luminaire and UC Surface. And this scene here is gonna run our main lights, which we haven't tested yet. And then this one is our secondary, which is gonna run the square doxes and the freedom sticks. But, I'll be honest, I mean, these are nice and I'm not going to complain, but our old devices were really actually doing really well compared to, but we just got some compatibility issues. They're getting old. So sound couple, what'd we do, <laughs> Stacy? <laughs> yes. Shelled out some cash. So the iPad Pro, we'll use this for our main lights, which are working. I'm gonna have my hands full a little bit, at least initially, but once this band gets going, they they really do kind of auto mix. So I'm just pushing solos and things like that. And I, I should be fine. I'll probably end up kind of just hanging out here once I kind of get things set out there anyway. Well, Stacy, it's 3.05. I think we're, we're doing really well. I'm gonna fire up the system and test it. Well, we're full of lessons today and <laughs> Stacy thinks she's really smart. So what do you need to share? What's, us these. Well, when you have a gap in time and you know that your Donner dongles won't last. That's for the people that would even have them. We right. got plenty of people that think we're crazy. I know. Uh, I, run a, I run a shorter XLR from the top, so then you don't have to lower and raise to be able to access the thing to turn it on and off. The power switch. Yes. <laughs> and we're yeah, we're at 321 and we don't start for another Oh, don't even remind me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got a we got a ways to go yet. That's okay. This is a I, I got plenty of work to do and Stacy's got plenty to do at home and that's why we just accepted it and making the most out of it. 335 and Stacy's out the door. Yep. Yeah, I got a little project to do tonight. Fix, Square docs, cool. Fix a bag and find it. Wish well, you luck. Oh, thanks. You're going to come back at what time? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Yep. All right. So I have seven and a half hours all by myself. Hey, you're going to close. Nope. Yeah. We'll see ya. Right. <laughs> I'm sure somebody would have let me in. <laughs> have fun. Oh, uh, you too. You? Get 348. Stacy's gone. I am changed. The band is getting here at six o'clock. The ceremony, I think, is going on next door and then they're going to come over here for a cocktail hour is what i was told that's why we needed to get it, our stuff in here and then they're going to leave for dinner and the band will be setting up then at six o'clock take you around and show you things are looking i'm warming up to the square doxes again they're not a bad light. I just, I don't know. I just had some big, big, like I thought they'd be like, bam. And they maybe they are, and I'm just not feeling it. But I do think what is cool about them is they are unique for sure. But I don't want it to look like we're just like an 80s band either. And But I, I think they kind of look like Rubik's Cubes, I guess. But they're, they are unique, that's for sure. They gave us a nice big stage here. Glad we got a band with in-ears. I can only imagine how loud this room could get sometimes. 
We got our NSB 3216 back here, and their uh, monitor rig will go right here, and I'll just plug their tail into the into the into this stage box there. Power right next door, running over to our distro box, which we love. We got the cart here, ready to go. That's gonna just wheel down there at some point. We have our wireless mic on standby. We don't know if we'll need it, but we just like to bring in more gear, that's all, right? One thing I did, I tried the last gig, I forgot to comment on it, is I put the subs in the program two. It's, it's underneath, it's right there, P2. And that boosts by a plus, plus three or plus six dB. I think it's a plus three. Just in firing up the system and talking, it, I noticed the difference. And, well, I don't want to beat up our subs, but I think, especially with this band, we like to hopefully be able to punch it a little bit tonight. And just get a little bit out of the, a little more out of the subs. And we didn't want to bring in more. I think we're kind of at our hour and a half limit here as far as the time we need to to get out of here plus they go want us to play music for another half hour so from 11 30 to 12 they want music we'll be tearing down so i think we'll be right up against that hour and a half window so i've been trying to get to a video about luminaire and i just haven't had the chance to do it so i'm going to just do a quick impromptu video on it. now what's nice about luminaire it's portable so we can run it on our macbook we can run it on our ipad we can run it on our phone. We can even run it on our watch. Uh, but we usually stick to the MacBook and the iPads, mostly the iPads. This is our main project. And the cool thing about them, all of our projects, is they're just files. So we can store it on iCloud and retrieve them off of any device. You can store them locally on device, very portable. We use two projects. We use one for our main lighting, which is the lighting we use all the time, our fronts and our backs. And then we have another project that we use for our specialty lighting. When we're in working mode, this is what we usually are looking at. We just have all our scenes and you can just select and they change. Now, if we want to get into modify, that's where you click and that just brings the screen down. And now you can see all of the fixtures and you can reorder these. So here they are all listed down the side. And the other neat thing about Luminaire is they are continuously updating their fixtures. Now you can go with one of theirs or you can actually create a generic fixture based on the DMX of that fixture and you can make your own. And some of these I have made my own. These are old. They have done a lot of updates going to more subscription based. They really I think, in my opinion, have stepped up their support of this application. So if you go into select a profile, they have the fixture cloud. And they have a whole library from manufacturers out here, and that really helps save some time. Or you can, you can do your own. And then once they're in here, here's the name of the fixture. So there's our four bar tri. These are all the channels we have, our four bar quads. Our four bar tries again. These are our old front lighting. And then the four bar, that's our rear lighting. Our color palettes. And then our hazer. So then it's just a matter of going in here and, and adjusting the faders. There are a lot of other. So I got to unlock it. So you can lock scenes so they can't be modified accidentally. You can go in here, you can adjust different parameters. Here are the DMX channels, some options. They have some built-in effects you can pick from. So just things that kind of get you up and going quicker. I We actually use a lot of those for the movers. And there's uh, other things you can master. So you can lock, You can I could set these faders and I could make one or more, any of them a master and then any other scene you select, it locks, it stays locked to that. When you want to save what you got on the application, you just can save it. And then it's just a file. You can obviously import bitmaps because I took pictures, which is helpful. You don't have to, 
So like for some of these, the PC stands for party chase. These are just generic icons that come along with the program or you can add your own. You can go in here, you can select some different parameters. That's where you would choose your image. You can choose fade rate between scenes. I usually just for our normal, normal scenes, I keep it at 0.2. For our slow stuff, which S stands for slow, if I go in here, I have a three second fade. So those will come in a little bit with a delay. And then up here, you got our blackout, you got intensity. They have a feature where you could push a button, it blacks out all the lights, and then you can make modifications without the lights reacting to that. And that would be hel helpful if you want to be just testing some things here without the lights actually doing what you're intending on doing. Then when you're ready to flip the lights on, sometimes when you're programming, it can get a little bit fatiguing to have the lights on all the time. If I was going back and doing this from the beginning, I would definitely be using that feature a lot. You can create sequences, which are just your scenes that you select, and then you can hit play here and it'll just play through. We love Luminaire, everyone. I don't know how many people use it. People have commented, I don't wanna say not favorably, but man, this is just powerful. And then to be able to handle, hand this off to Stacy, and then she's gotten really good at coordinating all these things. It'd be hard to go back to a light board for what we're doing for sure. For anybody, you know, the fact that we're untethered with our iPads to do this, I think is, is just great. I was hoping to get to a more thorough review at some point. So I guess this is it. running late. I think dinner was supposed to start at 6 or they were supposed to be out of here at 6. Band is setting up. Yeah.
<laughs> this wasn't planned, but we got to figure it out. We just don't make things up to have fun. Okay. We're good. All right, well, I had a chance to eat, but I'll eat while you play. So, the issue was that I had Luminaire running on the laptop, so I had them running, they were conflicting with each other. That was my bad, big time. But I missed my opportunity to eat. Work out? It, it worked out great. I figured out what happened. Um, they just had a wireless in there and the RF was all over the place just when the mic was even turned off. So I think someone came into the room that had something that was putting out RF or something. We got some stuff going on here too. So. With the RF? Well, no, we got uh, wireless mics and stuff. Um, so I don't know if that changed. I mean, if that was something that- Oh. The fans got, you know, wireless in ears and- Yeah, maybe that threw, that's what maybe kind of threw things off. Cause I was getting a ton of frequency with We got 11.53, Stacey. We're yeah. making a great time. Yeah, we are. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Cool. We're cruising. We're back together again. Yeah, look, look who showed up. It's uh, 12.37. Woohoo! Hey! We, we ended a little early, but I think... And then the, the DJ and stuff didn't, didn't go up to the full time. They were taking the stage down as we were. There were a lot of people needing to do a lot of things quickly here and get out of here. Yeah. All right, how did it go? Uh, I think I may have captured some stuff. Learning lessons, guys, it just never, never ends. As you know, I did the Luminaire tutorial and typically we only launch Luminaire on the devices we're gonna use it. Well, what happened is, is I went to fire up the lights and they were flashing and I found out that I had Luminaire running on my laptop still, and that was causing conflicts. Lesson learned. Second thing that happened is we had an NSB 3216 die on us tonight. It had outputs, but none of the inputs was working. I'll test it tomorrow, but I put in an NSB 16 and it worked just fine. What else did I? There's oh, at least I, one more thing. I lost my eye. <laughs> uh, I found it, but. The pens, I misplaced my Apple uh, pencil. I, and I and that just was distracting. Uh, and the good thing, you know, there was I think overall the night warmed up. I think the band starting kind of with their typical club set. Not sure what to think about that, but they the, they got into it and everything worked out well. I mixed again from my ears a lot of the night. I had my hands full, Stacy, with the devices. <laughs> I was trying to kind of figure out, you know, where the best to mix from, and I kind of got settled in with that. But it's a lot to kind of handle. And 
Yeah, I think that's that's about it. I, I mean, think. it sounded pretty good from when I came yeah, in, and, and uh, I could hear a little bit outside. Somebody here. said the bartender. It's this, these rooms, you guys. But oh, that's what I could say real quick. So, this room does nothing to help anybody as far as the band goes. And so what do they do? They equalize it, they equalize it. The room is gonna sound the way they are, but the band being on in-ears, the drummer playing to the room, no amps on stage. We equalized or attempted to equalize the forces that this room was gonna get us. And that's what we were able to pull off. I think we were at about 95 dB oh, wow. when I checked from off the side of the stage, kind of. This is the kind of environments I couldn't imagine being with, with monitors on a stage and people wanting it loud. It would have been just a volume more, keep turning up the monitors that have been there. That, that I, you know, not having to deal with that is like, it's gold. All right, anything else, Stacy? Sorry, oh. can't say much, I wasn't here. <laughs> well, we worked it out. I mean, this was all decisions yeah. we made. So you could uh, get some things done. All right, everybody. Thank you once again, and yeah. we will see you guys at the next gig, and we got always got lots of them on the horizon. <laughs> Good night. Good night. I have probably rambled way too far. <laughs>